El Salvador is one of the most dangerous country in the world. Its population suffer every day from gang activity and they receive threat from them. The people live with fear and insecurity. Oscar Sanchez is soccer player of the Viking of Missouri Valley College from El Salvador. He tells us how difficult has been for him this situation. Well, gangs or las maras, as they like to be called, uh, have taken a lot of possession in El Salvador and people suffer a lot. Uh, poor people is the one that suffers the most, but it's really heartbreaking for me because it's it's my country and it hurts that all these type of activities occur in my country. It's something I would like that doesn't happen, but it's the reality and are things that I can change. Distance is a great limit. To know that my family is far miles away is heartbreaking for me and it's one of my biggest fears, you know. To know what may or not may happen to them is... It's really disturbing. The Mara Salvatruchas are one of the largest and most violent gangs in the Americas. In 2015, 18 murder cases are registered daily in El Salvador. A big number for a small country. Oscar told us a little bit of the bad experience that his family has been through. About four years ago, my mother's company suffered from extortion. Las Maras asked for a thousand dollars weekly, an amount of money impossible for us to pay and they threatened to kill employees and family members. Uh, the most caring thing is that they knew important details such as home address, where I was studying, things like that. It was a really difficult moment to my family and I'm still scared that things like this may happen again. Despite the violence, Despite the threats, Oscar and his family have known how to succeed. Right now, Oscar is fulfilling his dreams here in the United States. No, I'm happy right now. I'm living the dream of studying abroad and I feel extremely satisfied with my life, you know. Uh, I'm studying what I like the most and playing soccer as one day I dreamed about. Uh, obviously, I do live. I do feel fear of what may happen to my family, but I try to be confident that everything is going to be fine, and that doesn't stop me from enjoying this great experience of knowing new people and all this college experience. Today, many people from El Salvador reside in the United States of America. Oscar, as many, seek to make a change in their country and they will not stop until they can achieve that goal. If you were Oscar, would you do the same? From KNBC, Jesus City.